Good morning to you, everyone, everyone, everyone. Good morning to you, everyone. How are you? <laughs> Sing to me, ready? Good morning to you, Miss Jolinski, Miss Jolinski, Miss Jolinski. Good morning to you, Miss Jolinski. How are you? I am wonderful, but I miss you all so very much. Oh, goodness, grade one. I miss hearing your singing voices and having all of our silly moments together. And I miss hearing you sing hello to one another. If you remember, our word for the month of hello comes from what country? Hopefully you said Ireland. So our word comes from the country of Ireland. And if you remember how to say hello, can you say Giaguet? Mm -hmm. And we know that this language is Celtic and that it comes from Ireland. So normally we would go around singing Giaguet to each other if you want to. I'm sure you can sing hello to your family by singing Giaguet. That might be a fun time. So if you remember, one of the songs that we were working on in the month of March was Cockles and Muscles. And if you remember, Cockles and Muscles was the unofficial, the unofficial national anthem of Ireland. And it was first published or written down where? Yes, Boston, Massachusetts in the 1800s was where it was first written down or published. And if you remember our song Cockles and Muscles, it's about this lady whose name is Molly Malone. And remember, Molly Malone was a fictional character. Do you think you can tell someone in your family what a fictional character is? Mm -hmm. I bet they'd really like that. So if you tell them that Molly Malone was a fictional character, it means that she was not real, that she was make-believe, she was pretend, someone created her. So Molly Malone was a fictional character, and she would go down the streets of Ireland wheeling around or pushing a wheelbarrow. She'd go pushing a wheelbarrow, and that wheelbarrow would be filled with what? Yes, cockles and mussels. And cockles and mussels, remember, are seafood. So they're these little sea creatures that live in shells that people would eat. So she'd go around singing the song to get everyone's attention, saying, Hey, I'm selling food. Do you want some? So she would go down the street with her wheelbarrow. And she became a fishmonger. Remember, someone who sells fish is a fishmonger. She became a fishmonger because her parents were. So it was kind of a family tradition passed down thing. So what we're going to do is we are going to sing our Cockles and Muscles song. I have my ukulele right here. We're going to start with this today. I'm going to be posting other videos with other games and things that we have done in first grade. That way, if you miss music class as much as I do, which is impossible because I tell you, I miss music class more than anybody else on the planet. So if you miss music class as much as I do, then you can just come in here and we can have music class together. So we are going to start with our Molly Malone song. Here we go. <laughs> I knew it was close. So we're going to start with our Molly Malone song. I know that you like to sing it on your own, you independent musicians. I get it. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to play this two times. The first time I'm playing it, I'm going to sing it with you. That way you're able to hear the lyrics and get the melody back into your brains. Ooh, lyrics and melody, those are big words. What are the lyrics? What are the word what does the word lyrics mean? Yes, the lyrics are the words of the song. And what is the melody? The melody is the t t t the tune. So we're the words and the tune. That way you get the words and the tune, the lyrics and the melody in your brains. And then I'll play it again a second time where I will not sing. So you can sing with the ukulele on your own. Okie doke. You are very independent musicians. Oh, I love it. Here we go. Right from the very beginning. In Dublin's fair city where the girls it would help if I played the right notes. In Dublin's fair city, where the girls are so pretty, t'was there I first met with sweet Molly Malone. She wheeled her wheelbarrow through the streets broad and narrow, crying cockles and muscles, alive, alive, oh, alive, alive. She was a fishmonger, and sure it was no wonder, for 
promise I won't make a mistake in the beginning, but remember, it's always okay if you make a mistake, as long as you recognize it and you say, oh no, and then you fix it and you try to not make it again. I didn't make a mistake for the rest of the song, which is very good. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to play the ukulele part. I might hum the melody very quietly, but I will not sing along with you because I know that you want to be an independent musician and to do it on your own, which is totally fine. I think it's awesome. So we're going to go right from the very beginning. One, two, ready, go. In. that I could hear you all singing. I wish that I could hear those beautiful singing voices. Oh, I miss you all so much. But luckily your family gets to hear your beautiful singing voices all the time now. I'm so spoiled that I get to hear them as often as I do. So I'm glad that other people now get to hear your beautiful singing voices even more. Boys and girls, I'm going to be posting another video so soon. Maybe I'll even get to jump in on some of your morning meetings and see some of you and say hi. I miss you all so very, very much. Keep singing and keep making music, and I'll talk to you very soon. Goodbye, everyone. I'll hopefully see you soon.